Hi everybody, welcome to my Ransom Notes, you know, podcast. Several people over time ask, you know, after I've been burned, how do I love again? Sometimes they're talking about whether they have had, they've been in a bad relationship, that's over, they want to know how to love again in a new relationship, or sometimes it's, it's a case of they're not sure, this isn't necessarily a toxic relationship, a narcissistic relationship, but it's someone who has betrayed them and they're wanting to know if and how they could trust again. And my answer in either case is the, really the the thing that is most important is that you understand that it's really not about trusting the other person. And one of the things that I want to say to to people who those of us who got into some of these bad relationships and really did get hurt so badly is that underneath all of that we can feel really weak and we can feel really duped and and stupid and all this stuff but the end of the day what we really were and still are were really extremely courageous people what we did is we trusted with our whole open hearts because we knew that we could handle it there is sort of a self-protective mechanism that human beings all have and ours told us that whether or not we we didn't we didn't expect it we didn't want this to happen but on a subconscious level, we knew if the person really screwed up, if they weren't perfect, if they did something wrong, if they hurt us, we would be okay. We believed we would be okay. And we are okay. Really, we are okay. You, you don't let them take that away from you. So you, you had something happen and you got burned. You, you know, you turn that into a learning lesson. You learn something from it. You got stronger maybe because of it. You got wiser. There is something to be said for being naive. And so we got a little more street smart. We got a little more savvy. And that's all great. That's all really important. And what we know about ourselves is it didn't destroy us. The fact that we, we went through this horrible thing, it didn't ruin us. We're still here. We're still standing. We can love again because we trust ourselves. We know we can make it. We know we can, we know we can be okay. We've done it once. We bounced back from something really terrible. We trust ourselves, A. We trust ourselves, that we're going to know better next time. We're not going to let that happen again. We trust that we're going to have better judgment about who we're getting involved with. We trust that we're going to have better judgment about not letting it go so far. If things do go bad, we're going to spot the red flags. We're not going to let ourselves be abused as long and tolerate as much as we did before because we know something more now. We're smarter. And then we know ultimately that if A and Bs just still don't protect us, and we do end up getting involved with someone bad and we do end up blood and they do end up hurting us again. We know we can, we can take it. We know we're going to be okay. We trust ourselves. It's all about the trust we put in ourselves because we can't predict what they're going to do. And we don't want to have to get in the business of trying to, you know, you don't want to have to be controlling, be, be feeling frantic, needy, anything like that. You don't, you want to have from an empowered place, which is, and, and that's also another way to just sabotage a relationship anyway. You don't, you don't want that. You want to be able to get into a relationship, believe that it's going to be okay, be, believe that it's going to be good, put your heart out there, go ahead, because it's true to you to do. This is the other thing. As soon as people will say to me, oh, you know, I'll get involved, but I'm going to hold my heart back. I'm not going to be as trusting. I'll let them say I love you first. It's fine. You don't need to bury your soul on the very first date, but you still need to be true to who you are. You don't need to start playing games. You don't need to start withholding information and you start being you know anybody but who you really are just because because it's not gonna protect you anyway the saving graces and all of it is is that in all of that i did what was true for me i did devote my life to people that didn't return that didn't love me back in return it's true i built a life around a man and i built a life around a family didn't take care of me when i needed them that's true but I did what was true for me. Would I have wanted, would, would it have hurt any less if I didn't do that? No, I think in fact it would have hurt more because I had the experience, I still got the experience of devoting myself to a family of any thoughts about like, oh, what if, what, you know, would it may have worked out better if I'd been more committed or more, you know, I don't ever have to think that. I know that I was completely committed. I know there was absolutely nothing exactly what I was doing and who I was and where my heart was and what my intentions were completely and so if I had not been in integrity that's when it really hurts you know that's when it really hurts when you do something out of integrity for yourself and then the person betrays you 
that's really bad. And, you know, I didn't do that. And what came of that is I did have the end of my grandparents' lives with them and a really valuable relationship with my grandparents and with my sons. And that, that that's not regretful. The fact that they did things that were, you know, the the onus of the deception and all of that was on them. And the fact that things didn't, that they that they rejected me, or that, it, that has really nothing to do with me. I know that has nothing to do with me. You know, they, they would have done that to anybody. That was completely and all together all about them. You really don't have to trust them that much. You really don't. I mean, obviously, you don't want to get involved with someone who is, have a, has a million red flags going on because you don't want to set yourself up. But really, the fact of the matter is, it's all about trusting yourself. You know, you're betting yourself on you. You you know, like you said, you've been through it before. You know what you can handle. You know that you're going to be okay. The way you're trusting yourself is you also trust yourself. You know, the buck stops here. If they do it again, you're going to say, you trust yourself to have a boundary. You trust yourself to say, no, okay, I'm not going to... You're not going to treat me like that. So you trust yourself not to let, not to let yourself be abused also. So you trust yourself that you can recover if they, if they don't turn out to be who they say they are. And you trust yourself not to let yourself be abused. So that's who you have to trust. It really has nothing to do with them. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot. Please subscribe and write comments below and give me a thumbs up. All right. I'll talk with you later. Bye bye.